<laughs> All right, here we go, guys. Sorry about that. Things got a little weird there. <laughs> I had to do my thing. What's going on? Is that the right mic? It should be the right mic. Yeah. Okay. Looks like my levels are jumping all over the place, but I'm hoping that it's not too, too loud. Um, that it that it's the right sort of area. Feel free to let me know. Yeah. So hello and welcome to Accidental Origin, your weekly writing web show. My name is Brendan. This is the show. Thank you all for being here. What's going on? Just doing my thing. All right. Huh? Really? That's odd. That's really odd. No? It fixed itself? Okay. Is it just a long delay? Did it just kick me out? What the hell is going on? My preview, yeah. <laughs> well, my preview like just stopped working for some reason, which made no sense. Let me see if it works on this one. Okay, no, never mind. The window I have open is just not working. <laughs> that's that's not a problem. That's not a problem. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, you know, your typical things are exploding as you are a streamer. Nothing goes right. <sighs> Curses. Curses. How's the volume, Sam? Is it good? Is it better? I think it's a lot better. for that response and then we will move forward I got a couple things planned for today's episode mostly related to the exciting thing that's happening tomorrow <laughs> yeah I feel like I'm a lot of delay today Hello from 30 seconds ago. I'm not dropping any frames, so I'm not worried about the stream cutting out or anything like that. It just it is weird if it if it's that delayed. I suppose that's just the thing. Okay, we're gonna move on. That's fine, no problem. So, uh, what did I want to do today? So tomorrow is the first episode of Rewrite, the new book club show that we are starting here on Accidental Origin. Uh, it's gonna be like a supplementary show where we're gonna read and talk about books that we've never read. Uh, so that is going to be a thing. And because that's going to be a thing, I need to do a bunch of stuff uh, to get ready for that. And rather than doing it off stream tomorrow, I kind of wanted to show you a little bit of the process of being a streamer and what that's like and doing some of those more fancier things. Also because, you know, I didn't really want to work on one of the short, like one of the projects we have going, uh, that being the short story and uh, the Fear the Siren comic books. Uh, Cause I've done that for the last little while, and I just wanted to shake it up. I like shaking it up. I think it's more interesting uh, for for my viewers <laughs> in a lot of ways. Um, it's more interesting for me just to just to mix it up like that. 
Um, so yeah, uh, things we're going to be doing today. I need to make um, an overlay, uh, two in fact, two basic overlays, just as temporary fill holders until our graphic designer get, uh, gets our, the stuff we've commissioned back to us. Um, so there will be that, um, as well as, uh, I want to update, uh, the Twitch channel info down below, uh, because that needs to be reorganized to make room for a rewrite and some other stuff as well. So I wanted to do that. And then if I have some time left over, I'm just going to do some updates to the website and stuff and get that rolling. Um, but that's kind of like, if I have time, I need to do the two overlays and the Twitch channel stuff first for sure. Uh, cause that's stuff that needs to get done. Um, so we're going to be doing some copywriting and that kind of thing. Um, yeah. So I opened up Photoshop here and, uh, I'm going to create a new image and it keeps doing this to me for some reason. I'm not sure why. Oh, I'm so glad I made that thing, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why the first one always opens up in a weird thing, and then when you do the second one, it just works. So I've created our 3840 by 2160 resolution. It's got like a gray tint on it. Uh, that's just a drawing thing. I hang out with too many visual artists. So that will be a thing. Uh, what I want to do... What I want to do is sort of like a uh, a very basic like starting soon, ending soon style thing, just for the beginning and end of the show, and then a uh, just a general basic overlay. We're not gonna have too many scene switching in Axon Origin, so it's fine just to make like one basic, basic one, just for a temporary holdover. Uh, so I will be doing that. I'm wondering if I should install After Effects and do some cool, cool things with that. That might be an option. I'll have to think about it. real quick God um Installing After Effects, that's fine. That'll run in the background while we, we make our basic image stuff first. I wanted to try some out some static stuff before we get into the fancy, fancy things. So what are we going to do here? All right. Everything. 
Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll do some basic animation stuff. That might be fun. Starting is because I downloaded this cool font that I really like. But maybe that's not enough. Let's see what else the internet will turn up for us. <laughs> if I could type today, that'd be that'd be nice. So I guess we'll just try out some options and see what what's what. I just downloaded a new font here. I guess I should show this on the screen itself as we go through it, but uh, pop this open I guess. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, so this is an option. I'm gonna make a new text layer. I mean, it's a cool font, uh, but it's really not what I want for this. Okay, so that's not an option. Pop open some stuff. Pretty sure this is the one I downloaded. Yeah, this is the one I downloaded. Yeah, the the distorted one's really odd. I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, it is cool, <laughs> but no. That's not bad, though I wish it was lowercase. Okay. I will I will move it closer to my face if that helps. Does that look super weird on camera? A little bit hides my face, but does the sound better? Yeah. If I keep it like that. Yeah, okay. I just keep closing my face. I'm learning to use this mic and what is positioning. It feels really weird because like when I look at this, like when it's here, it's like right there. It's a presence right in your face and it's not really a problem so much as it's just part of how you got to do it. I also don't have the gain up very high on this right now. I could probably turn that up and which might help. Um, 
I'm still playing around with the settings. I think it's a lot better um, in general. I like this microphone. I like having the I like having the ability to move it out of the way. I like that it doesn't pick up every <laughs> thing in my room, which is nice. Um, so, I mean, this is a super interesting article, but uh, it's not relevant to what we're doing. But I will keep it open because it's neat. Save that for later. Yeah, yeah, you know, you're right. It's a it's a cardio mic, it does that for sure. I've been trying to find the ideal like because my screens are over here and my mic is over here, like I can't really put it on this side. There's no real way for me to do that effectively. Like I don't have I don't have a whole lot of choice in the matter. And it wouldn't really make sense to move my screens to the opposite side. It just doesn't it doesn't make sense. <laughs> So I'm kind of stuck at an impasse. I don't like these dots at all. And part of that is just me learning too as well. Like I got to learn to uh, to speak at the mic, right? I'm getting used to it. It's very different from the, the previous one, which kind of just sat there over in the corner, you know? Like I, I need to be aware of where the mic is and what I'm doing when I'm talking into it, which is fine. It's just a learning process. I don't like all these shapes. bugs me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, pretty much, right? Pretty much is that just have have it right in my face. <laughs> I might have to move my uh, my camera positioning a bit to see if I can get it so that it doesn't obscure so much of my body. I'm not a huge fan of that. Yeah, I think that'll just be like camera positioning and 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 all that. I don't know, maybe I do need to move where my mic is positioned. I could probably do it. I just need to figure out where it would be better for it. Part of the problem is is it doesn't it won't really hang over top of my monitors. So it's not like I could put it behind my monitor and like put it over, which would be cool. I'd really like that because then I could just like hang like here sort of thing. I could talk straight into it. Yeah, it's 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 one of those things where your desk setup is kind of, you got to figure it out so it works, right? Like that's part of what what being a streamer means, like figuring out how this all works, how this is all set up. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's just the way it is.
<laughs> yeah, no, I mean, what what it means to be a streamer and what you do as a streamer is is something that I've been talking a lot about on Accidental Origin. Um, I mean, that's kind of my thing, right? Like, I want to talk about. Oh, that's cool. I want I want that font, <laughs> even if I don't use it. Uh, I I talk a lot about like what it. M the streaming process of showing all those weird uh, hiccups, all that stuff that goes into making a good stream, making an interesting stream. Um, not that my stream is necessarily good or interesting, but like what goes into doing what I do. Um, I think that's important. I think that's important to show. Um, it's, it's something that happens a lot in the art world more so than in, in a lot of the other ones. But to a certain extent, it happens in writing as well. Uh, if you think about it, but uh, very rarely do you get to see that sort of behind the scenes stuff, all that work and time and drafting and all that stuff that goes into what, what eventually will be a final product, what turns into a book that what turns into a, uh, 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 some sort of project that we've worked on. Right. It's, it's easy to see those people that we admire who've been doing it for 30 years and are really good at it and, and all those things and how they work. But at the same time, you know, they had to do all these things. They had to deal with, you know, all this stuff that builds up, you know, like I, I show a lot of flash fiction and starts and stops and, and different kinds of projects and things that I'm trying on stream specifically so that you guys can see for yourselves what, what that process is like. The projects I work on on stream, I do not work on off stream. Like I just don't. Um, so any, any, any time spent is only time you're seeing, like any time I've spent on them is time that, you've, that has been recorded, that is on YouTube that you can watch if you want. <laughs> and, and it's not all interesting, it really isn't. It's just one of those things that I'd rather show the uninteresting parts to give you an idea of what the process is than to show you only interesting things and, and be feel fake about it, you know? Page 18 round. Did I miss that? Yeah, and and like Sam's doing, feel free to, to jump in with suggestions or questions I'm always happy to answer did I miss that oh page 18 round got you <laughs> yeah I saw it it's cool I can get I can get that that's not a problem I want this arcade font too Do they have a slash though? I need a slash. No, they don't have a slash. That's too bad, because this would be really cool. Wait, no, okay. This is neat, I like that. I like this. Ooh, this might be cool. Yeah, this kind of C is more what I was going for. Problem is, is I like, um, I would like it to have a lowercase, if at all possible. Um, Cause I like lowercase. Oh, that's neat. And I'm cool with just downloading a bunch of fonts here. Um, Fonts are always something that come in handy and you can have a lot of when you're doing design stuff. And I mean, I'm planning on doing a lot more InDesign. Um, so all this, this stuff kind of works for me. I don't know if round does or not. I didn't see Sam. I just meant that that cool arcade font didn't have. Um, 
didn't have it. So let's uh let's try some of these out. Open up my downloads folder here. Yeah. I always have 18 billion things in my downloads folder, and no matter how often I cleaned it out, which I did yesterday, I always have a ton of stuff. Although I did find a really cool uh, set of like desk exercises, which yesterday, which is nice. Um, always a useful thing. I also have a bunch of stuff in here that I just don't know what else to do with. Okay, so. Oh God. Font. No, that's Gnarls Barkley. Font, 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 font. I don't know if that's a font or not. I will, yes, I will try those. Okay. New folder, fonts. Let's try this. Um, yes, all fonts, good. Uh, I am working on overlays and uh, copywriting for the channel to update um, to update it for the new show that we're starting tomorrow uh, called Read Write. So I'm not gonna be doing too much like fiction or anything. Well, I'm not. I'm not gonna be doing any fiction or anything like that today. Uh, if that's what you wanted to see, but. Um, Still, it's all part of the process. So I hate that font, which is fine. Well, I hate it for this. I like the font in general. What I should do, so I should just duplicate these a bunch of times. And then I can, uh, Copy two, so copy one. Okay. <laughs> MC Pepper Pockets, Sam himself will be my co-host for the new show. He's actually running it. I am the co-host, I guess, is <laughs> is more like what, what's going down. But um, it's kind of his baby. And I'm happy. I'm happy to help out. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, man, that's a cool font. <laughs> no slash though, unfortunately. Which means no dice, but still, that's neat. Uh, what else we got? What else do we got here? That's jokes. I think that's so funny. Stop me if you see anything good, Sam. Multiple courier looks cool. I don't like the slash though. But it does look cool. Which one's which? So this should be down. A 
Adobe works really weird on my computer, and I'm not sure why. Five one four OEM. All right, what an interesting font name. Yeah, I was just thinking that uh, Mafnin Ator. How do you pronounce your name? I'm sorry. <laughs> I am not good at pronunciation. If uh, if you haven't been here before, uh, I I I can barely pronounce my own name sometimes. Yeah, I, I think uh, maybe making the slash like this sort of font with the courier around it might be cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> Th thanks, Sam. You're so much more competent than me. That's not bad. Now you guys are just trying to confuse me. Really what I should do. Really what I should do is I should uh, maybe what I should do Sam is I should do that thing I was talking about before. Yeah, um, they just changed it. Uh, they did like a purge and a bunch of stuff, so you should actually be able to do it now. It's one of those things that's a tough call because uh, like people know you as a certain thing. What thing that I was talking about before? Uh, remember I was talking about getting like uh, doing like that ASCII style intro? Maybe I should do that. Master of Ceremonies Pepper Pockets. Oh, that'd be jokes. That'd be jokes. Actually, instead of Photoshop, I should have done this in uh, like a Google Doc or something, <laughs> or uh, not like a LibreOffice Doc. 
where I could just like play around with it. <laughs> Oh, that's courier, right? Yeah, that's fine. Well, what do we know what font the terminal is? Like, what font is this? Do we know? Well, you're assuming that I would invite you to the dock, which I might. The font is called terminal. Okay. So let's go to our courier copy here. Where is my courier copy? So that's a regular courier, then this. Wait, what? Oh, your courier copy. Uh, arcade. Oh, it does have that. It's just, uh, it's very small, so you don't notice. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe that's the font I should use. I like it. The slash is better than the courier slash. I don't know. I like this OEM one. I don't know where I got it. Did I download it off that site? Is that something I downloaded? Give me a sec here, people. Um, I will show you that round font too, uh, Sam. I like that a lot. Huh. 
Huh. I do like the terminal font in general. Yeah, maybe that's what I should go with. Could be. Could very well be. I'm definitely going to have to move my camera. This hides way too much of my face. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> well, maybe if I just do something like... It's probably gonna sound weird. No, I shouldn't do it like that. It just won't work. Never mind. That that wasn't gonna work the way I wanted it to. Oh well. Is what it is. Lots of small finicky adjustments. Hmm. Is After Effects done? Yes. Excellent. After Effects is good to go. It's going to be fun. I've never used After Effects before. I hope it's not too different. <laughs> it's been a while since I've used um, Finally, you let me click through that. Come on, load up. The computer's running kind of weird. Might have to do a clean install of Windows soon. I just hate doing it because like you finally get everything that you want on it. It just gets all over the place.
Okay. <laughs> that uh that oscilloscope is a font I found. It's pretty cool. It probably wouldn't be that interesting for what we want though. Yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah, maybe maybe this is something I should not get into right at this moment. <laughs> we shall see. I'll do the basic one first, but I think I think it's between these two. In my opinion, I think it's between those two. Though this one isn't bad either. What do you guys think? terminal okay that one rename your flares so that you can read them all right yeah well I'm gonna delete that one uh, that's the round one it's cool but eh. uh, the arcade one's not gonna work I like hack, but it's more, uh, I don't think it suits what I'm trying to do. And courier is cool, but meh. It's still courier. So those are what we got. What do you guys think? Good, bad, ugly? Should really use my graphics tablet for this stuff. Adequate. Nice. I'll take adequate. That's fine. I agree. The bottom one has the best slash.
Graphics tablet is now set up. Let's just move this up a bit here. Cool. Good. I get all weird because like the pop shield isn't exactly center. And I'm just like, I want to just keep adjusting it. But no. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, right, I gotta adjust my, where are my settings here? work yes good good okay we're good yeah well so what I was thinking was um, which one is that actually? So that's the eight five one fourteen OEM. I want, where did that even come from? The amount of the amount of posts I've seen about random game DLLs and fonts and stuff that people are just like, is this a virus? Should I get rid of it? Oh, apparently this font is also used by command. Okay. Interesting. I don't know, it's just what it's called. That's fine. Man, do I wish I knew hockeys. Um, Which one's terminal again? That's terminal. I think I'm gonna use fixes fixed sys. Is 
I think it's the closest to what I want. So it feels weird to not use terminal, but whatever. It's the way it is. Perfect. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these before, but they're really nice and very useful. I'm gonna open this up. Not in front of chat, so I can actually see chat, because that would be good to, to see chat. So yeah. Um. Okay. Where is move? Okay, perfect. So now, what I want to do is I want to make this a layer. And I want to make it what the hell's up with my color picker. Ah, uh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Paint bucket is G. Hmm. Oh, it's not. Did they change it? Am I just useless at this? I mean, that could definitely be the case. Oh, it's because I have a layer style open, that's why. Here's why. Um, hey, I was just curious, but how do we remember stories from not being concise while still dishing out new content? Because that's something I've been doing for a while. I try to write something and I either get stuck or put way too much information in. Is my mic muted? My mic's definitely not muted. Is my mic muted? God, I hope not. That would be really odd. Is it just too far in my face? Well, yeah, so I agree with what Sam's saying. I think uh, from what I've read, and I think a great book is Orson Scott Card's uh, writing science fiction and fantasy for this. Uh, you should not explain things that your characters would inherently know. If there's something odd happening to them that they don't quite understand or something like that, then explain that, yes. But inherently, if your character's... N well, a good example. We don't explain what a car is when we write fiction. We don't need to. Everyone who is in... Everyone who would read our work knows what a car is. The, like, there might be a few people who don't, 
but it would be so unlikely that someone who bought your work who didn't know what a car was. Like, it just, it wouldn't. You knew what a car was when you were five years old. You know how it works to an extent. You don't necessarily know how every single little bit of it works, but you know to an extent how it works, what it basically does. So, for example, if we were writing a book, we wouldn't have someone say, hey, this is what a car is, unless it was like the first time a car had ever shown up and the characters wouldn't know what a car is. That would be the only example I could think of. So, yeah. Um, keep in mind, well, and here's an important thing to keep in mind. Feedback is super important. Uh, we need we need feedback as creative people. We need to see other perspectives. We need to get that insight. That being said, not all feedback is good. <laughs> it's not all useful. Um, if it's not all useful, just because someone wants you to elaborate doesn't necessarily mean that that's the right call. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it. I just said like, you know, take any advice like that with a grain of salt. That being said, um, if you're at 1.8K and there's no conflict so far, then you're doing it wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Yeah, and you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't have to re-explain things multiple times. It just, it isn't useful. Your readers should be able to keep up and should be able to keep moving through context. It's just, it's not useful. How am I supposed to fit the conflict in the initial 1.8K? Uh, you should have the conflict start on the first page. <laughs> I'm not saying it has to be the main conflict of the story, but you have to have conflict on the first page. And if you don't, it's just not going to be interesting. I mean, if you think about it, uh, 1.8K is what? Uh, six pages? Yeah, what's... Well, so what's your inciting incident? Um... Yeah, because like the question you first asked me was, I need to make my stories more concise, but still be interesting. And if it's not being concise, then you're doing too much explaining. You're not doing enough like down and deep. No, no, yeah, no. Def if it's about reincarnation, start from the the point that he is reincarnated. And then you can add that other stuff as backstory later. You can show flashes of that. You got to start, well, in my opinion, and, and again, my opinion is not necessarily the correct opinion. Um, it's all about what you want to do. Um, yeah, it could work as a prologue for sure. I would keep it short um, if it was going to be a prologue. I would keep it short. I would keep it vague. If you look at, um, I think a good example, it's both a, a good and a bad example, actually. A good example is the Wheel of Time books. If you look at the, the prologue for the first few of them, they're really good. When you start getting into like four, five, and six and stuff, they get really, really large and unwieldy. So not that big. But yeah.
Well, it's just, it's just one of those things that when you, when you start right at that reincarnation, you're jumping directly into the story's immediate conflict in, in a certain sense, right? Like he's there. He doesn't necessarily know what's going on. We don't need characterization at that point. Um, like we don't need a big build up to show us who he is. You should be showing us who he is as he does things, as he advances through the problems that he's having. Like, I just think the way that you describe those things is interesting because saying like, I showcase these scenes to give them characterization, but you should use those scenes as characterization later when they matter when characterization matters we don't need to know who a person is right at the beginning we should know yeah i stand by that statement i think that statement's accurate <laughs> thank you I like knowing that I'm correct. <laughs> no, I, yeah, it's something I've, I've done before myself. Um, I think we've all probably done it at one point or another. Yeah, for sure, man. That sounds, that sounds perfectly fine. I didn't want to do that actually. What I wanted was a nice radioactive green. That's actually what I wanted. I wanted that sort of like hacker green color. Can use the eyedropper on things that aren't. Where did my eyedropper go? Interesting.
I do I do have a question though. My question is, um, I like well, I do actually like reincarnation stories in general. But um, if they're reincarnated, and I'm assuming that they know they're reincarnated, um, hence why they gotta do certain things. But does that knowledge influence how they are perceived as a child? Ooh, I might have to actually just do that with, um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to do that with OBS, actually. I'm going to do that part with OBS, but I think this kind of works. What do you think of this, Sam? Is it cool? I can play around with it more. Do some like outer glow. You give it that like poppy effect. It's kind of nice. Not bad. Not bad. That's what I thought. I wonder, it might be hard to tell. I wonder if I could make it a little bit like of that. Um, you know when you get that effect on the tube TV where it like, it, it kind of, Like that glass effect you get, like that weird sort of stripey effect. I wonder if I can make that happen. That's neat, but no. Now playing around with some options here. I don't think it needs to be any of these. I just was seeing what's what. I think normal is just fine. I like the outer glow a lot. Okay. Delete that layer. So yeah, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to use this as, as the sort of beginning and end screen. 
and then I'm going to do a text effect in OBS that'll have like uh, animated text. Oop, what am I doing? Okay, that'll have like animated text, and it'll be like starting soon. Though I almost want to do it as an animation because I kind of like the idea of having it type out. Does that make sense? That kind of makes sense. I think that makes sense, but I'm going to copy this effect to there. Uh, did I duplicate that effect? Yeah, let's just, just go blending options, hourglow. Yeah, I guess that's the question I was asking Sam is that like, are they an adult in a child's body or are they a child relearning things about their adult self? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I got you. We're on the same page. No, that is, that is straight. It just doesn't look straight to me from here. Um, I wonder what's the best way to do that then. <laughs> yeah. I am going to save, I'm, I'm going to export this though, because uh, I might need it as a backup and I'll make an ending one as well. <laughs> was I there? I think I remember someone saying that. See, I'm super interested is if it's an adult mind in a child's body, if they're reincarnated in a world that doesn't work at all like their own. <laughs> like if they were reincarnated as an alien. And how that would all kind of play out. Yeah, starting soon doesn't actually make any sense. I take it back. It should be. I keep forgetting that I have that hotkey.
Does it say booting or um? Yeah. Yeah. We're on the same page yet again. Yeah, well, I'll have to see about the animation. I'll play around with some stuff. I don't know if I'll get to that today, though. I do want to do the... Like, I'm just going to finish this up, and then I'm going to take a break, and then I'm going to come back, and we're going to build a very basic overlay. Uh, and then I'm going to do the channel stuff, because uh, I do have to do that. Um, other than that, yeah. What should this one say? I think deleted is fine. I don't know if there's a better one. Is there a thing after loading, like an opposite of loading? Does that make any sense? <laughs> End of line is not bad. Actually, I like that. No, I break is accurate. I don't think break works in context though, because it could be construed as a actual break, like taking a break and we'll be back. I don't like that. I don't think it works. I think it needs to say something like end. What? I didn't. What? What are you talking about? There was, there was no harm. Sorry, ref runner references here. I have no idea that of which you speak. We're not doing an intermission though, are we? I thought it was just like an hour straight or like 90 minutes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, end of line's fine. I'm gonna use end of line. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, so let's just open up the exports here. I just want to double check them, make sure they still look cool outside of Photoshop. Yeah, I like it. And the other one. Yeah, I like I like how it looks blurry. 
good. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna take a uh, 10 minute break here, uh, and then I'm gonna come back and we'll throw that that overlay together real quick and center the loading text. Did I not center it? I thought I did. Oh, you're right, I might not have. I did, it's exactly the same size. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well should make sure end of line is right as well. I think it is. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. So 10 minute break. I will be back. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'll be back in 10 minutes. <laughs> I'll see you guys then.